guys, Sarah the Triceratops here, and today we are painting. This is Make It Monday, but I'm so sorry, it is so late. All right, first off, you will need a canvas of any size that you prefer, big, small, medium, it doesn't matter. You will need a glass of preferably warm or hot water because it's easier to get the paint off of your brushes that way. You will need a painter's palette, or if you don't have one of those, you can simply use a paper plate. That works too. Plastic wrap, any paint colors you might like, a painter's pen, your paint brushes, and a toothbrush. You can buy a cheap one for a dollar at the dollar store. No problem. And then you want to go ahead and put your canvas on plastic wrap or cling wrap go ahead and lay out enough to make a pretty good border all around your canvas and set your canvas on top of it and then what I did for this painting idea I had I laid some across the bottom of it some cling wrap across the bottom of it Ooh maybe a little less than halfway and then I laid some cling wrap straight through the middle of it to try and give it to where you have just the two top corners showing and then I went ahead and those two corners are gonna be your sky so I went ahead and made it I'm making a starry night sky so I went ahead and painted those two corners pitch black and then I took my toothbrush, I put it in some white paint, and I just kind of ran my thumb along the toothbrush over the painting. So you, you hold your toothbrush above your canvas and run your thumb along it, and it will create a splatter effect for stars. FYI, this is messy. This is why we have cling wrap under our canvas, because this, if you go too rough with your thumb, this will splatter everywhere. So do it gently. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. Then you want to go ahead and remove your cling wrap that was on top of your canvas and just straighten up any edges. Try to make them as straight as you can and, you know, uh, splatter white paint wherever it's needed. I had to straighten mine up quite a bit. And then, I don't know why I did this, but I did. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I was going to try and make like make it look like there was hills. Hang with me here, I'm still a noob at painting. I know a few things, but I don't know much of the basics. <laughs> I just kind of wing it. <laughs> So I drew two lines here because I was going to try and make it look like there were hills. It's not how it turned out in the end. It just looks weird, but it's okay. You can either do this or completely ignore this. But after that, I went ahead and started drawing my flower. This is what I had intended to put here. I am drawing a flower on the fields. Then I started drawing the petals onto it. This is where your painter's marker comes in handy. I'm not that, I have pretty shaky hands, so I'm not that great at keeping lines very straight. So a painter's brush really helps me. <laughs> but I drew my petals and then I drew the stem. See, if you're not doing the hills, you can just draw the stem all the way down. No biggie. Then I tried to draw some leaves for it, but yeah, I should have probably just drew one of them. But it's got three for some reason, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> and they look really tiny and really awkward being there. And then I went ahead and used light green to color in the background. It was just going to be light green grass. And then I used dark green to color in what was supposed to be the hills. And well, you see what happened. It does not look like hills. Not at all. So you can use either light green or dark green and just color the whole thing in if you would like. It'll probably look better that way 
and just bring the stem all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. After that, I went ahead and started painting my petals. The center of the flower, I usually just make black, so I use my painter's pen to color in the center. Sometimes I paint it brown, but usually it's just black. And I painted in my petals. Now this gets tricky too because I did not have a small enough brush to paint in my petals. So after the yellow paint was dry, which by the way, you can use whatever color you want for your flower. You can make it whatever color you want. I just happened to use yellow to try and make it somewhat like a daisy or a sunflower. But after you paint it, I'm, I didn't have that small of a brush to really paint it well. So I painted mine and then I took my painter's pen and went over the outlines of the petals to darken them up again. I did not do that until after I was done painting my rainbow though. So next, <laughs> you're going to paint, well, if you want to paint it like mine, you're going to paint a rainbow. Yet again, you can paint whatever colors you would like. It doesn't have to be rainbow colors. You can just make stripes of your favorite colors or whatever. You can get creative. You can paint the sun back there, the moon, whatever you want. Yeah, you can make the whole sky just a splatter paint sky and paint a big white moon back there if you wanted. After that is when I went over the petals, and you can definitely tell that now. And then I also used some silver metallic glitter paint that you can buy in the craft section at Walmart. I originally bought this for my daughter's room sign, which I made, I believe, last week or the week before on my YouTube. And I thought it was going to stay silver, but it actually dries clear. So I thought that would come in handy for a space like painting like this to make it look like the glitter is kind of like stars. So I just painted that on my sky and I actually painted it on the rainbow too so we have a glittery rainbow because why not glitter is life even though it gets everywhere and it's annoying because it never comes off anyway <laughs> here is the finished product you have your pretty little flower on whatever you want to call that hills a cliff some sort of weird vortex whatever <laughs> with a bright pretty rainbow shooting through the sky on a bright starry night <laughs> uh, water sign you're hearing in the background is our aquarium <laughs> well, look at the shine definitely could have done better on the flower but the shine is awesome I have also done this flower and this flower. Even on the darkest days, shine bright. Well, that is your finished product, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you decide to do this painting, I hope you enjoy your little flower. And I will see you guys later for some Wasteland Wednesday. We're gonna meet back up with Holly on Project Zomboid. All right, give me a like, give me a share, give me a roar if you want more, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.